case you guys think my house is always perfectly clean, that is a lie. So I'm hosting a dinner tonight for about 17 girls. This is our end of the year college group girls Bible study dinner and I wanted to host for them and they have finals next week so I wanted to do everything. Um, so I wasn't gonna film but I thought it would be really interesting for you to see this dinner because as I'm making it, I'm like, this is the least stressed I've ever been in hosting a meal for that many people. And so I wanted to share with you what I am doing um, just to give you again another hosting idea. I'm just finishing doing little things like preparing. It's about 3.15. Everybody's coming at 7 tonight. So I'm over here just working on my little flower bundles. This is fresh lilac I bought at Trader Joe's. I bought two bunches, $7.99 a bunch, and I got all of these little cute bottles I'm gonna line the table with. Again, super simple. Sometimes you can get one single flower. Just pick one variety and put it in a bunch of different vases down the center of your table, and that's all you need. It makes a big impact and statement. It's really easy, anybody can do it. It is quick, a good time-saving tip, so I'm doing that. Dinner, we are doing breakfast for dinner. We got to talking one week, the girls all like love eggs and breakfast, so I'm like, let's just do breakfast for dinner. I feel like I can totally get away with that, especially for all girls. Um, so this is what I'm going to be making. We're going to be doing, so I'm washing berries here. Um, we are going to be doing a yogurt bar with berries. Um, granola, I've got the granola prepped here. This granola is, I bought just from Whole Foods. It's kind of was in their um, bins where you can buy it. By the way, it's like a coconut almond granola. So we're doing that. We are making the biscuits from the Magnolia Table Cookbook, which I've made before, so I know that they're delicious. One batch makes about 20 biscuits, so that was enough. So I made those yesterday, cut them out this morning, and then have them like pre-cut in the freezer, ready to bake. You want your biscuits baked fresh. Also making out of the Magnolia Cookbook a modified quiche. So I'm doing like a spinach, leek, and red pepper quiche that I kind of modified. I didn't. I did leeks and red peppers instead of the mushrooms that you found that you can find in the Magnolia Cookbook. And then I'm also trying this sausage egg casserole bake thing, which has hash browns, sausage, cheddar cheese, eggs, all the yummy things. So I'm making two quiches, one large of the egg bake thing, biscuits, and then the yogurt parfait. And then for the dessert, I made my favorite banana bread out of the Magnolia Cookbook too. So I don't know if I'm just like inspired by my trip to Magnolia, but pretty much almost everything is out of that cookbook. This is just something I wanted to share with you because I really believe it is so easy. I believe that you could do it too. And I just thought it was a fun idea and I wanted to share what breakfast for dinner looked like um, in a very simple but fun way, um, fun presentation. Also wanted to show you, I just found this free menu printable online. I Googled it and I found this on Pinterest and I could customize it. So this is everything that we're having here. And I just put it on a clipboard and I'm gonna kind of prop it up with like a little plant to kind of, and a candle to kind of kill that dead space. Okay, so it's about 45 minutes until my event starts. My table is all set. I just have to light the candles. And I've prepped all the dishes that need to be prepped. So I've got this bowl with this napkin in it for the biscuits. I've got my biscuit toppings here. We're gonna be doing honey, butter, and then this um, raspberry jam. So I've got all that prepped. I've got my yogurt stuff out. So I've got my bowl ready for the yogurt. I've got the granola out since it can be. And then I have, my berries are prepped and they are in the fridge. This is where I will put the uh, egg and sausage casserole, which is cooking. And then this is where I'm gonna put the two quiches. And then over here I um, have some fresh ground pepper for the guests, some salt I'll put out, and I'm gonna put out some hot sauce since I know a lot of people love that. So here is my quiche. I made two of the exact kind. Um, I 
saved time and I did a store-bought crust. I had a tiny little sample of it. This is the one from Whole Foods. It is so good. So for my large table, I lined it with this white runner that I had on hand. And I just did the alternating bases of all white lilac down the center. Um, I am adding a six foot table on the end because we have 17 people. So I wanted to make sure we all could sit together. So I just threw a white linen over that. And because I cooked everything from scratch, I knew I wanted to keep cleanup simple and easy. So I picked up these really cute plates from Target today. They are that cheeky brand. I just liked that they're a little bit modern and fun. I liked the black and white and I have all of these black and white napkins. I'm alternating since I didn't have 17 of one type. So I liked that you can kind of mix match the different patterns, kind of plays in with the plate pattern. And then I just picked up these gold plastic flatware. You know, I'm gonna get a lot of flack for using plastic and paper, but you know, you can't do it all sometimes, especially with a large group. And then for the candles, always a fan of lots of candles. I just put three larger candles down the center with a bunch of these just Ikea clear tea light holders um, for just like a really beautiful, simple look. And the same thing for this table, exact same thing. I added a few more votives and this one doesn't quite match, but similar kind of vibe and style. Obviously I have mixed match chairs. Bench seating goes a long way for a group and then I'm squeezing two on the end. But I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And of course we have all the white lights strung up here. And it's gonna be lovely.